So this is the Toblerone clock. It is 24 Toblerone boxes glued together to form a giant hexagon. Um, if we look behind it, you can see that in each Toblerone box there are two LEDs, an orange and a blue LED, and they're all wired into and powered by a Raspberry Pi. This allows us to send it commands via Twitter. So right now it's in the clock mode. The inner circle here denotes hours. Um, so the top would be uh, 12 o'clock, then when both of these are lit that would be 1 o'clock, this one only 2 o'clock, these two 3 o'clock, and so on. So the clock hand moves around that way, so this is about 9 o'clock, and then the outer circle is minutes. Um, it has about a 5 minute resolution, so you see it's uh, almost 9.45. We look at our watch, it's 9.40. Uh, there are unfortunately only 21 outputs for the Pi, and since it's being directly controlled, some of these elements are wired together, um, these two up here, those two, and those two. So it doesn't have full control over every pixel on the clock face, but it's pretty good. So I mentioned we could tweak commands to it. So if we go over to Twitter here, we can tell it to, for example, say something. Hello world. So I'll tweet that. And then I'll pick it up and display the message across the clock face. And it just loops going through the message until it eventually times out after a couple minutes or you tweet something else to it. Um, we can try also giving it a game of life command. Now it's playing Game of Life, where each pixel on the clock decides whether it stays blue or if it turns orange based on its neighbors, um, and then uh, essentially it goes until it's done. In this case, it's hit uh, kind of a steady state solution where everything is orange. Uh, we can also send it back into clock mode. Early. And there we are, back in clock mode. So that's the Toblerone clock.